Yes, the crazy spinning ball of poop, currently known as Charles Sheen, continues twirling. This weekend, Sheen unleashed more bizarre rants, thrashing his bosses at CBS and the creator of AA, of all people, while also discussing his short-term plans. Here he is speaking with ABC's 2020. I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um, it, uh, it's not available because if you try it once, you will die. Your face will melt off and your children will weep over your exploded body. Um, too much. So uh, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's just, I, I, again, I woke up and decided, you know, I've been kicked around. I've been, I've been criticized. I've been like the aw shucks guy with like this bitch in rock star life. And I'm, I'm just finally going to completely embrace it, wrap both arms around it and love it violently and defend it violently through violent hatred. That might have been GMA, I'm not sure. Anyway, makes total sense, like calculus. Anyway, Sheen also sat down with NBC's Today, I hope it's Today, to knock other drug addicts and rant on how awesome he is. Strong people have relapsed. Strong people have started using again. How do you avoid that? Fools, trolls, weak. Come Wednesday morning, they're gonna rename it uh, Charlie Brothers and not Warner Brothers. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> winning um and it's not convincing anybody it's like guys imdb right there 62 movies um and a ton of success i mean come on bro i want best picture at 20. I wasn't even trying I wasn't even warm he's looking more and more like bruce campbell after the transformation in evil dead 2 when he actually became the zombie and his forehead kind of grew anyway sheen went on to declare that not only does he not owe cbs an apology but that at 1.8 million an episode he's actually underpaid I'm underpaid right now, sure. You're underpaid? If you look at the money they're making, yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm tired of pretending like I'm not special. I'm tired of pretending like I'm not bitching a total freaking rock star from Mars. And uh, people can't figure me out. They can't process me. I don't expect them to. You can't process me with a normal brain. You can't process <laughs> it with a normal brain. That's exactly what I was thinking as well. He's amazing. So let's discuss this in lightning round. Mm -hmm. oh. We don't even need that anymore, yeah. really, when no. you think about it. Uh, Jonah, um, what can you say? <laughs> Honestly, say what can you say that hasn't already been said by him? He has said every word ever. Yeah, uh, like, I, ultimately, I think it's sort of sad what's happening to him and every, how all the yeah. maggots are feeding on him, including us. Yeah. But at the same how time, <laughs> at the same time, He's got to get a show on Cinemax. Yeah. I mean, oh, he's got yeah. It. yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Bakey, uh, yeah. whether you agree with him or not, because yeah. uh, in the green room you said you were agreeing with him, yeah. <laughs> you, you cannot it. fight looking creepy. Like, when, you, when your body starts changing, yeah. that yeah. is saying something. Right. He's looking different. He is. He's, he's, he's actually crossed... Just crossed over the line because uh, all the other things that he was engaged in up until this point where he really stepped onto the crazy train, uh, I was kind of a big fan of Charlie Sheen. Yeah. You know, he's spending hundred thousand dollars on hookers. You know, he's dating porn stars. He's having a big time. He's an old school bad Hollywood guy, right? Yeah. And but then he kind of stepped one step over. Well, that he, was, line. he was. I mean, he yeah. threatened his ex-wife with a knife okay there These was that okay there, there was that i didn't agree yeah. with that yeah. He, he's, yeah. everything yeah. is like all this this drug induced mania angela yeah but then he says a lot of this stuff for comedic effect because he believes he's a comedian it Which, is what do you believe not, it's not look this man is battling a lot of demons and i'm kind of glad that this is happening so people who are addicted can see that you can fall from grace and he has I actually feel sorry for him. But the, his fall for his looks like fun. That's the problem. He's not sweating it. He's, he, in, this, he's out having fun with porn and stars. And I don't mean to judge, but this guy did a morning show. Did you see how high he was? He was high. I mean, it's, it's yeah. really sad. Angela, I wouldn't know what high looks like. Yeah. Well, I know. I don't think that didn't look like high to me. It, what did that look like no, to you? It look like Caffeine? No, it, it, it looked like a body that was very raw after months of being high. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That might have yeah. been the most authoritative moment Bill Schultz has ever had on the show. <laughs> it's like, I'm available as a sober coach, by the way, Charlie. <laughs> Call me. Yeah. Like, and we won't go looking for your secret like, stash like, that yeah. isn't there. You're like the ambassador John Bolton of <laughs> grams of drugs, by the way. <laughs> Instead of a giant mustache, I've just got a giant Coke <laughs> face. Yeah. By the way, at $1.2 million per episode of Red Eye, I am seriously underpaid. Yeah, yes, yes, you are. Yes, yes. All right, can yeah. I move on to yeah. the next topic? Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. Charlie. All right, Iran is threatening to boycott the London 2012 Olympics and is urging other Muslim states to do the same. Iran contends that the Olympic logo resembles the word uh, Zion. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Almost knocked the table over. A biblical term referring to the city of Jerusalem. What? Johnny, you look at that. Are you offended? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Charlie Sheen completely agrees with. I'm going to John about this. I mean, it obviously says that. Yeah, but you were saying you were saying in the green room that you agree with Iran and this has to stop, weren't you? Exactly. I know. I mean, I, I mean you know, sometimes you know, every now and then they make a reasonable request. <laughs> yes. Baker, uh, yeah. shouldn't they just let them boycott? No one cares if they show up, really. No, you know what? I, I gotta tell you, for a while there, I mean, while Ahmadinejad was doing his thing, he was spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on hookers and dating porn stars and everything. I was with him, and now Ahmadinejad stepped just over that, <laughs> that line, and he's looking a little creepy, and he's acting a little crazy. Yeah, he is acting a little crazy. Yeah. Actually, the weird thing is Ahmadinejad is actually looking better lately. He got his hair cut. His yeah. suits are fitting. Suits it kind of is disturbing him. I think he's trying to he's trying to see all the crazy. He's watching the crazies get kicked out. He's going, I better be careful. Well, he finally saw Borat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh, makeover. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, does he have a point? <laughs> no, he doesn't have like? a point. I mean, this is Iranian elitism. Even though he looks a little bit better, he's still an evil, evil, evil man. And who cares what he thinks? Uh, I care. I care. Bill, uh, Zion was also the city in The Matrix. Is it possible Iran just hates Lawrence Fishburne and perhaps Keanu Reeves? <laughs> That means they love his porn star daughter. Yeah. So, which Ooh. is very un-Iranian. But I'm star. with you. I mean, yeah. look, when the when the when the Soviet Union boycotted the Olympics and whenever that was, I don't care. Uh, everyone else did. When we boycotted the Olympics because of the Soviet Union, everyone cared. If Iran boycotts the, the Olympics, isn't one of their team members on the soccer team just a rock? Yeah, I've been told yes, one of the yes. team members is just a rock. Yeah, they are. It's a nothing country. They I never like, won I like anything. The fact that it, they did it back in the year I don't care. Yeah, well, I, I like that year. I'm not back an Olympic year. aficionado. The year as it I were. don't care. Although I maintain that hockey game was indeed a miracle. Yeah, and I believed in it. You know, uh, I will. I, I disagree with the reasons for the logo being bad, but it is the ugliest logo. It is ugly. It, it is ugly. It, 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 it is like mutant. It looks like a it's dinosaur. A, it, it's a mutant Lego game. Yeah. Nothing fits. It's like a puzzle for freaks. But except for the Olympic logo itself, name a single Olympic Games logo or mascot that, you know, wasn't. What odd. is it? Uh, Creepy yeah. Ted. Remember him, the mascot? Oh, yeah. Creepy He'd Ted. jump on you and touch you. Remember yeah, that? That was yeah. the. Uh, yeah. that, that was just your uncle. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right. Or Ted Turner. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Stay right there. We're taking a break. But there's more red eye when we return. So last week, I told you how much I enjoy whistling in my underwear. Mm. And it's true, I do. I'm not afraid to say that. But I also love charity. As you know, I unveiled the latest piece of art on Friday. And this is a good one. I call it Manatee Contemplating Sex with Either a Unicorn or Wilford Brimley. It is awesome. I've already received a bid for this piece of art. $1,000 from the Shar Smith family, which will go to Wounded... Uh, what's it called again? Wounded Warriors, Warriors Project. Yes. Now I, it'll go. I, that's terrible. It'll go up to fifteen hundred bucks if they uh, if they get their picture taken with Andy, Bill, and myself. If they come by the building, uh, that's indeed possible. We're looking at a fifteen hundred dollar bid, and if you can beat that, you have till Friday. Email your bid to redeye at foxnews.com to be considered. The bids close by next Friday. As you know, all the money goes to the wonderful charity Wounded Warriors Project. Uh, we've already sent something like ten grand over there in the last couple of weeks. And remember. Let's not forget the real message behind this auction. It's not really about charity. It's about me being awesome. How many people say that? Wait, are you talking about charity to the name of that chick that's over at yeah. Charlie Sheen's place I, I right now? I told you not to. <laughs> she has got it good enough as it is, Greg. Know, Give it to me. All right, we're going to close things out with the post-game wrap-up from TV's Andy Levy. And to see clips of recent shows, go to foxnews.com slash red eye. Coming up tomorrow on the next Red Eye, just her, criminal defense attorney Remy Spencer, <laughs> returns to the program. How many girls like Tucker Carlson? He's a nice kid. She better bring a lot Andy of talking Ferguson. points. We have, a, we have three guests on, don't we? No, it's not just going to be Remy. Remy. Just no, Remy. Remy. It's Remy. It's just Remy. All right. Yeah. So, Andy, back yeah. to you. Oh, thanks, Greg. No problem. Right. Hey, Jonah, how was it being in the studio for the first time? Uh, it felt like I was on that drug Charlie Sheen. It was free and awesome. Yeah. Uh, actually, it makes me, it's more like an Admiral Stockdale kind of experience. Like, what the hell am I doing here? But, did, you I feel like you, did you feel like you were winning? Uh, I was winning the future, because <laughs> we're going to have high-speed rail. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Hang around Bill later, you will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll have speed and we'll do rails. <laughs> That's because you have to move with high speed if you want to get anything. <laughs>
Uh, Mike, what you plugging? Uh, you know what? Uh, what I'm plugging is everyone should go out and see this movie, Restrepo, a uh, documentary. It did not win the Oscar, which I think is an amazing uh, travesty. Uh, Restrepo uh, about uh, uh, Afghanistan and our soldiers out there. Fantastic show. Yeah, it's a phenomenal movie. It is. It really is, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Angela, what you got? I have this new, um, I guess you say, campaign that I'm doing. I want to eradicate lupus, so I want people to go to my website, AngelaMcGlowan.com, to find out more about this painful disease, and I want you to make a donation to the Lupus Foundation so we can find a cure. All right, excellent. Mm. Bill, how was your day off on Friday? Uh, it was good. Got myself a little melanoma. Got nice. myself a little medicinal marijuana for an mm -hmm. upcoming amazing article I'm working on. But I really don't have anything to plug in. So I will say, go to Pete Dominic's show on POTUS on the Sirius Channel and watch the uh, watch his show from one to three. My brother Alfred is the producer. Ooh, watch a radio show. And you can tell him. <laughs> well, you can look at pictures of Pete on Google Image while watching it. What you do with those pictures is up to you. Are you on Charlie Sheen? Hmm? Yeah, you are Charlie I'm on noise. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> and then you shake a little bit after you say it. Uh, Greg, get us out. All right, how much time do we have? 20? All right. 20. Stare at me for 20 seconds. Yeah, just like that. Hey, I want to thank uh, Angela McLowan, Bill Schultz, Mike Baker, <laughs> Jonah Goldberg. Great having you at the table for the first time. That does it for me. I'm Greg Gutfeld. And yes, I shall see you next time. <laughs>